Yo, you see that bike right there? That's today's Bike of the Day feature. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Crazy Al came with another special build. This one comes in from Wyatt Christensen, and this one is a Radio Solar Carbon Pro XL BMX racing bike. Yeah! Wyatt had this bike custom painted to pay tribute to the late great pro rally car racer Ken Block. Most of y'all remember Ken Block when he was part of the debut of the rally car racing at the X Games. He's a legendary rally car racer who recently passed away. So Wyatt made this tribute colorway to represent for Ken. Wyatt said this bike was built as a tribute to Ken Block. It's modeled after one of Ken's rally cars. Wyatt earned national rank 43 last season, which was Ken's number. So he dedicated this season to Ken. Hopefully his adventurous spirit and love for life can live on when people see this bike. Now that we know about the inspiration for this build. Let's check out those parts, son! Yeah! All right, once again, this is a Radio Solar Carbon Pro XL. He's got T-squared Expert Carbon Rims, Onyx Full Tilt Team Hubs, Tioga Power Blocks, Pro Max Brakes, Bombshell Brake Extenders, Cool Stop Carbon Brake Pads, Box Carbon Bars, Box Seat with a Carbon Seat Post, Pro Max Seat Clamp, Avian Junior Stem, Tangent Chain Tensioners, Croupy Hollow Pin Chain, ODI Grips, Box Headset, HTME-03 Pedals, Speed Line carbon cranks, running chain ring and cog, and a box number plate. Yeah! I really like when people do things different with their frames. Some people may or may not like it, but it's definitely different and out of the norm, so that's what I like. Okay, so now we know about the parts on this bike, but let's dig a little deeper and find out a little bit more about the Radio Solar frame. According to the Radio Bike Co. website, it says the Radio Solar is designed and developed in Cologne, Germany over a two-year period. The Solar is manufactured from the highest quality Torre carbon and is incredibly unique with its 100% monocoque one-piece construction. By using a mono construction compared to a two or three piece construction, which most other brands use, we were able to make the frame even stiffer and stronger and create no weak or fatigue points. The Solar frame is laboratory tested and proven to be insanely stiff and lightweight, especially under high impact and stress tests. The internal cable routing allows for a super clean and stealthy setup. Tested by the Race Raceline team, the past two seasons and now the frame of choice for many of today's top riders. The actual top tube length on Pro XL is 21.5 and the effective top tube length is 22.5. Chain stay length is 14.5. The dropout size is 15 millimeters. The head tube angle is 74.5 degrees. C tube angle is 71 degrees. The fully internal head tube size is tapered at 1 and 1 eighth to 1.5. Seat post size is 27.2. Bottom bracket type is Euro. Bottom bracket height is 11.6. And it weighs in at a super light 2 pounds 57 ounces. The stock frame comes in a matte black and gray colorway or a matte black and teal colorway. You can go with either V-brakes or disc brakes. It has cable routing for disc brakes if you want. And it also has V-brakes. So that's cool, you have the option to do either or. Okay, so now that we know about the specs, we know about the inspiration, we know about the parts, let's check out those ratings, son. Okay, so as of this taping, there were only three ratings made, and one of them being our rating, which is fives across the board. But currently, he has 8.33 in this color overall rating. He has 8.33 for originality, 8.33 for parts, 8.33 overall style giving him an overall rating of 8.33. And that is because we gave them fives across the board to set it off, so that way you have to work to get your, your ratings up high. And the last two people gave them all tens. So Courtney gave him tens across the board, and Rich gave it tens across the board. And here's our rating of fives across the board. We definitely need you guys who are watching on YouTube or wherever else to come back to sugarcane.com and give this bike a rating because we have this big old bike of the year competition going on we're gonna find out what bike is the top bike at the end of the year as a matter of fact jack let's go check out the chart so this is the bike of the year chart and still currently we have a 1986 gt pro freestyle tour on top we got the prophecy scud evo 3 in second and the marshall punisher v2 in third place and as we go down we can see more bikes but where currently 
is the radio. The radio is in 13th place right now with an 8.61 rating. So wait a minute. Somebody else rated this bike too if it's got an 8.61. So the radio is in 13th place just over the GT Speed Series that we haven't gotten into talking about yet, which will be coming up on a future episode. There's also that Sugar Cane in 12th place. We're going to talk about that one in the future episode. So we have Donna who gave it a 9.43 overall rating. So now we have it as 8.61 rating. So the overall color is 8.38. Originality 8.75. Parts 8.75. Overall style 8.55. Giving it an 8.61 now. So see, once you come in and you rate the bikes, the ratings all change. Everything changes up. So definitely come back and do that. All right, y'all, so that's it. The Radio Solar Carbon Pro XL sent in by Wyatt Christensen. Big shout out to Wyatt for submitting this bike. I like different stuff. I like custom builds. I like custom paint jobs. So definitely kudos to you for that. And with that said, enough talking about bikes, enough looking at bikes, enough rating bikes. I need you to go out and ride your bike. This is Crazy Al Kane, representing right here, Bike of the Day. And back to you, Billy. Billy.